Alright, so on the last episode of uh, Dark Souls Let's Play, Fialty went through a uh, ruin filled with ghosts and he couldn't hear anything so he kept just running through. Unfortunately, turns out I don't think we're supposed to be in this place this early in the game and I also don't know how to navigate quickly without dying since every time I go into a room, it's like more deadly thing, so it's more of like a really early on preview, since I can't actually hit anything in here, it's kind of rough, but you know what, it's kind of interesting, especially dying on ladders, you know, just, you know, who else would do that, you just die on ladders surrounded by ghosts, and it's like, wow, that was fun, um, so this episode coming up, we're going back to the forest that we were in previously to do some look around to see if I missed anything else especially cause I missed a lot the last time I came through that's where I found the drakes and stuff so could be interesting anyway we're gonna roll that intro starting from now Then welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls. I'm your host, Yalti, and apparently, I'm going the wrong way. Entirely. My bad. Um, that explains why it was so difficult. I need to get rid of some of these items, too. And probably upgrade my faith level, so that's okay. So basically, uh, how to explain this? In layman's terms, I don't need to even go this way yet. And I should have been going the way I was going before. But me being me, it went, I know, I'll just keep going this way, what can go wrong? Apparently, dying a lot for no reason can. Good to know, game. Um, anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put away some of these things. I don't use them, and I will never use them. And they're getting in my way. It's probably a way to get rid of them. It's different. At this point, I'm kind of like not helpful to have. Just to go for my inventory, I don't want to like go for 70 freaking screens. Um, so I need to get more souls. The clerk down the bottom of that area. But yeah, it looks like we're going to a place called Blight Town, which is actually this way. Probably of all the plants. The fact that you go to New Londo Ruin to die, it's hilarious to me. Ah oh yeah, this is totally a direction you you can go in safely. It's not. Hear that, Skelly Belly? You're going the wrong way. Face up against that trio again. But those were pretty tough too. I guess it's not about them being tough. Maybe my character is not very. I mean, I would have had a plus two. Thing by now. Anyway, um, I could grind souls. Get my faith up and get some use out of this new magic weapon I found. Well, hello again. You seem to need anything. Hmm. You can forge. Forging armor is even easier than forging weapons. 
Whether you forge weapons or armor for it, but nobody wants to see, so whatever you do. <laughs> Oi, where are you off to? I don't know. It's exploring, I guess. So if anything that um, that bonfire down below would save me walking time and give me multiple directions to go in, I guess. What do you mean you didn't die immediately? Also noticing that there's places I can actually like get to, especially with the pathways being as they are, intrigues me. Like, not knowing I could go up here before and down. Those are off. There's a lot to learn. There's a big oath. I kind of don't know what that item down below was. And the drakes. They deal a metric a lot of damage. They can't kill them yet. Let's lose that bonfire found. I think so. Oh no, it's here. Wait, wait. Now I could run past the Drakes and then back to that big ass one. Get those items again. There's like still more items there. But, I don't know, this seems more appropriate. Try to figure out which way is actually shorter to run to. Just up a few hills. Down, it's actually probably the same distance, roughly. I hope so. But yeah, I'm gonna do some exploring on camera. Like how they get to see people like, oh yeah, don't fall. It's like, how am I gonna do that? What would possibly possess me to just fall to my death? In an undramatic fashion. How do I get up there? It loops back around.
Right, this place now intrigues me after being here so often. At least I got more than one direction to go in, so I can kind of fan out per episode. Let's take a look around this place again. No, 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 can kill the golems at least. This seems right. Um, a bit close to comfort. I can grind these for souls at worst. Those are lying. So those are what's guarding this place. Interesting. Kind of annoying. heal up. One, two, three. Four. It's so weird exploring stuff now. It's like, oh, what else is here? Oh, okay. That's three and a half thousand souls. Dead. That tower that I found might be the way to go. I might have to run past the little guy. That one shots me. And if I can't do that, I'll grind off screen in this area and get my levels up a bit. This dying kind of sucks. No, oh, you don't actually have to grind in this game, but when you're dying a bit, it kind of helps. I don't want to grind it on screen because it doesn't seem right. Oh. The 
There's an item there. Maybe I can get to it. go back up that hill. Let's do that. Let's, let's get the rest of those items sitting on the ground first. I definitely know I can't kill those. places have good stuff, but... Maybe we're not utilizing it properly. Maybe just in such a rush to get through the game, I'm not playing it properly? That could be a thing too. Accept that. If it dies and gives me a thousand souls. Wait, that thing's a that thing stays awake. Does it move? I think I'm asking the wrong questions. The real questions is, oh my god, it breathes noxious fumes, and I got the item. Dragon Crest Shield. Take a look. It's cosmetic. Uh, I'm gonna finish up there, and we'll see you on the next episode.